Hi, this is Zach from Dataminer, and this is a quick video to show you how to download full web pages with Dataminer. So, as you can see, we're on the Dataminer Sandbox, which is a place where you can practice Dataminer. And we are going to first scrape the uh, URLs of every individual profile. And then using um, one of Dataminer's awesome functions, we are going to actually download the entire web page or the entire profile of each individual. So let's get started. To do that, we're going to first need to capture the URL of every profile. So to do that, just go to the top right corner of the toolbar, select data miner, and then we're going to go down to sandbox search. So this is the recipe that will extract all the URLs. Right. Awesome. There you go. Now, as you can see, we have the URLs for every profile. And um, if you wanted to, you could do pagination, which will just click to the next page and scrape even more. But for this example, I think five is fine. So at this point, we're going to download this information. Press download, give it a name, press save. And now that we have that, we're actually going to go to another portion of the data miner extension. This place is called collections. And to get there, all you have to do is click in the bottom right corner, press collections, and now we are here. And this is a portion of the data miner extension where you can do all the additional um, functions. Uh, so as you, as you can see on the left, we have the jobs. But we're actually going to go to an older portion. Um, you can see up here on the top right, it says switch to old version. This is where we have um, all the other functionality, like downloading images and downloading, downloading web pages. So let's go there. And now, as you can see, we have, oh, sorry. First, what we need to do is upload the information we just downloaded. So to do that, just do from CSV, and then select the URLs that we just downloaded, and press open. And now that we have this information, um, the next uh, step would be to create the job. So let's go to the top and click Jobs. And then since we're going to be downloading the web pages, we'll do Pages as the type of job. And now we'll just fill out the appropriate fields. Um, the first one, collections, is where the URL lives, so that's going to be in the URL CSV. Then column number is where actually within the CSV the, col the, uh, the URL lives. So for our example, the URL is in the very first column, so one is just fine. And then number or two is referring to um, the name that the file will be given. Uh, so anything in column two will be the file's name. And I think right now we have the individual's name, which is a, a very good file name. So let's stick with that. And then download folder name is just the folder that everything will get downloaded into. So I think pages is fine. And number of pages is essentially just how many pages you want to download. Um, I think three is a good example. And then wait time between downloads is just the amount of time that data miner waits before scraping to make sure that the page fully loads, just to make sure there isn't any error when um, performing the job. All right, so now that that is all filled out, let's just press start and watch it happen. Right, now, as you can see, we've gone to the, the first profile, and soon data miner will download it. All right now, the second one. Awesome, now our final one. Great, and as you can see, it lets us know the process. Oh, and it just finished. So now that those are all done, um, you can just go to wherever your computer downloads files. Mine is in the download folder, so I'm going to open that up. Now that is the wrong one. So I'm going to open that up, and as you can see, we have the pages folder right here. So I'm going to open that up. So open in Finder, and now as you can see, we have the three the three pages downloaded. Um, something else I should point out is that just due to formatting, we actually download the images or the pages with a certain uh, naming convention. As you can see, it says um, 
the M HTML, then remove this. So we actually will need you to remove the remove this on all these files um, just so they open correctly. And there are a few different ways to do this according to your computer. Um, I'd recommend researching that because I don't want to give you instructions that may not work for a PC or if you're not work using a Mac. So for now, I'm just going to do it manually so you can see as an example. So just remove this and use the MHTML. And then we're going to just right click, open with Google Chrome. And as you can see, we were able to successfully download the full web page. And I would like to point out that the, the website URL is actually just a local um, file. So you can see it's under one of my folders and it's under pages. And it's going to be the same exact information with selectable text, the full images, and all the formatting. It's the exact same, but it's found on your computer and will be there forever. So I think this is a really great function, and I hope you guys agree. Um, I also hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comment section below, and I'll do our best to answer them. All right, well, thank you for watching, and have a good day.